I've been puttering around with my motorized KU band satellite dish and today I want to show you how to add in a satellite to your motorized KU band dish setup. The movement of the dish is controlled by the receiver which backfeeds voltage through the coax cable to the dish motor. You have two options to control the movement of your KU band satellite dish with your receiver. The first one is called U-Cells, which is a set of universal software commands that control the movement of the dish and will automatically calculate the location of each satellite on your arc automatically based on your location. So you're gonna enter your GPS coordinates into the receiver and the receiver will do all the calculations for you. But the trick with using U-cells is that you have to have an almost perfect setup with your dish, meaning that the post your dish is mounted on is perfectly plumb, your declination angle is bang on, and this can be tricky. My dish is mounted on a wood deck, and of course wood tends to move a little bit here and there, so I find that U-cells is not really the best choice for me. The better choice is to use Dissect 1.2. This allows you manual control over each individual satellite. And personally, I like it because I know that my dish is just slightly uh, off from being set up perfectly. So this is what I use, and that's what I'm going to show you today. My favorite free-to-air satellite TV receiver is this one, the Amico Mini HD265, and it's the one I'll be using in today's video, but the process is going to be very similar for most other free-to-air receivers. So here we are in the setup menu. Right now you can see we're on Galaxy 19, and this satellite's already dialed in with dissect 1.2 that means that if i pick this satellite or any other satellite or channel on a satellite that i have programmed with dissect 1.2 the dish will automatically drive to that satellite when i select either the satellite or the channel for today's video we're going to add in satellite 72 west nimic 5 and there's not much on here except for the ontario Parliament or the Ontario Legislature channel. So not exactly exciting, but this came to this satellite probably a little less than a month ago, maybe three weeks or so. And uh, I thought it would be a good one to uh, use as, as a sample just because I don't have it dialed in to my uh, motorized setup menu yet. So what we're going to do first is actually go to 72 west here in the menu so i'll just pick it off the list here and then uh, you can see that when i scroll down to dish positioner right now it is set to off one thing you should check before you do this is to make sure that your lnb oscillator frequency is set correctly that's going to be the same frequency as the LNB type you're using on your motorized dish. I'm using a universal KU band LNB. So I'm going to pick this one 9750 and 10600 for my high and low oscillators. And then we're going to select the Dissect 1.2 option here. Once you've highlighted Dissect 1.2, Press the OK button on the remote control. It's right in the middle of the arrow keys. And this will take you to the Dissect 1.2 setup menu. Now, we're going to actually drive the dish with the buttons on the remote control. And we're going to do this until we pick up a signal. Now, I've gone ahead and entered in the transponder that carries the Ontario Legislature channel already. That's it right here. And we're going to use this continuous move option here. This pretty much allows you to hold down the right or left arrow keys and drive the dish east or west until you lock in a signal. So I'm going to be moving the dish towards the east because we started out at Galaxy 19, which is west of this satellite. So I'm just going to hold down the right arrow key here and you can see it says east 
So the dish is moving east. And we're going to hit a signal here soon. And once you hit a signal, let go of the arrow key and go down to save. And save that spot, even if the signal isn't perfect. Once you save it, now you can uh, go back to your continuous move option and fine tune the signal by moving the dish east or west just one click at a time. You can barely see the dish moving here. It's moving very, very incrementally here. And we'll lock that signal in as best we can. This is a pretty good signal. We'll go ahead and save that. And then I'll return to the main setup menu. And there you go. There is 72 West. And now I can run a channel scan. And there they are, Ontario Parliament. Those channels are now entered into the receiver and this satellite is now part of the motorized uh, arc that I have for this receiver and dish combo.